for enhancing rigor in the classroom. This is a lesson plan that I wrote earlier this year. What I'm going to do is just kind of run through the elements of it and compare it to uh, Bloom's and Webb's depth of learning. So in my warm-up I have a an activity where students read a primary source for 15 minutes and answer text dependent questions. This is designed to increase reading stamina and prepare them for park exams which you'll be taking very soon. So the three questions uh, associated with the warm-up question one and two would be in the knowledge and understanding realm of Bloom's taxonomy. Question three requires um, evaluation justification based on evidence. For depth of knowledge uh, requires inference and distinguishing so that's a level two for questions one and two. Question three is level three for depth of knowledge because students have to assess and explain site evidence to support their claim. The teacher-led activity students watch this video over the course of about five minutes it shows the origin and expansion of the Ottoman Empire and based on their understanding of the video they have to apply their knowledge to what they already know about geographic situation so that would be the understanding and application levels of Bloom's tech, uh, taxonomy uh, in regards to depth of knowledge it would be level two because they have to find patterns in the expansion in the video and then to respond to the prompt it takes them to the level three of depth of knowledge because they have to explain um, in terms of a geographic situation. And teacher monitored activity. Students have to watch a 10 minute video on the Ottoman Empire and they have to apply what they already know about political science and governance to analyze the video. Not just to record facts but to find characteristics of Ottoman rule and then to list those characteristics. So that would be in the application level of Bloom's taxonomy. For depth of learning, level two, because they have to classify information from the video, and then level three, depth of knowledge for constructing a list of characteristics. The student-led activity requires that they look at this PDF. It's a little bit more time for them to read, but there's five questions built in at the at the end of the document. Questions one through four would uh, demonstrate understanding, so that would be at the, uh, the base of the Bloom's taxonomy. Question five requires application of cause and effect relationship. In terms of depth of knowledge, questions one through four would apply to level one and two, and question five would apply to level three. In the closing assessment, students have to write a rap poem or song or cheer and um, incorporate geographic situation and characteristics of Ottoman rule to explain um, how they expanded between 1300 and 1700. So in terms of Bloom's taxonomy of learning, this is um, requiring them to invent an explanation of political with political and geographic concepts and understanding into an academic vernacular. So inventing is uh, creating, so that's the highest level. And in terms of depth of knowledge, they're synthesizing the information basically into a performance. And even if they don't deliver it, they still have to conceptualize it and then put it on paper. In order to prepare for the next lesson, students have to do a homework assignment, watch this video about the Mongols, and answer some questions, and that way they, uh, they start the next assignment with more background knowledge.